July. Okay, so today, again, um, 114.22, we're going to be simplifying trig expressions with trig identities. Identities, okay? So we're going to be simplifying, simplifying trig ex expressions with trig identities. All right, so last couple of days we've been talking about these. And this expression can actually be manipulated down to something simple. That's what we're going to do, okay? This expression here can be manipulated down to something really simple. We're going to use our identity sheet, right? A hint, when you start to see the squares, you see how you get your Pythagorean identities. So with the, every time you see a square, I like to look at the Pythagorean identities. Other cases, I'm thinking sines and cosines, OK? For identities, OK? And that's going to make things easier, OK? So what do you see on the first part? Do you see anything? Yeah, 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared, right? So I'm going to use that identity there. So I'm going to rewrite 1 plus tangent squared into a secant squared. So I'm going to rewrite this into a secant squared A. Good. I can also change cotangent. What do you see cotangent to be? I could change cotangent into maybe a cosine. cosine over sine. Yeah, sure, why not? Cosine over a sine. And I can change my tangent into a sine over cosine, right? Well, it looks worse. It doesn't look better, it looks worse. But I do at least see a fraction divided by a fraction, and that might do something, right? I'm gonna, so I'm gonna take my cosine theta, sine theta, and I'm gonna multiply it times that. I'm gonna invert like cosine theta over a sine theta. Oh, I keep going thetas, sorry. I'll just change them all the secants. Secant squared theta. Ellie, we were talking about this yesterday, weren't we? Or was it Elise? Yeah, it's like we just, thetas are easier, aren't they? Or I like them better. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're looking at the simplification. Okay, now, any ideas? Let's make that a cosine squared, maybe, and a sine squared. Okay, so I'm going to shoot that up here because I'm around our room. So how about a cosine squared, sine squared theta times, okay, now help me out. And that's going to help, isn't it? Do you see this? This is a 1 over cosine squared. If I change my secant squared into a 1 over cosine squared theta, right? Cancel, cancel. Like, I like that. And then I'm left with a 1 over a sine squared of theta. And there's a better way to write that. Right? There's a better answer than 1 over sine squared. What do you think that would be? So Kai, you're talking about the reciprocals, weren't you? So 1 over sine would be cosecant, but it's a squared, so it's just going to be cosecant squared of... Once again, excuse this interruption, all basketball players and cheerleaders, please head to the testing area now. All basketball players and They're cheerleaders... They're going to change that up next week till, to 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. You guys know that? Sorry, next week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read that this morning on, in my email. Yeah, so. Right. Not that it's going to help this class because we're going to be done pretty soon, but you know. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just. Okay, now example two. I know. No, no, I'm bad. <laughs> my wife would just say, that's just the way he is. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. On example three, if I change it to x cubed plus x 
y squared, okay? Just for a second, just for a second. And a common factor, a common factor, what would a common factor out? A common, a common factor of x, right? So I'm do the same thing here. What do these two terms have in common? What do they have in common? A sine. A sine. So let's common factor out a sine and see what happens. So if I take out a sine of, of theta, just as I had my x cubed plus my xy squared, I'd have an x squared plus a y squared, right? For algebra, if I common factor out a sine, I'd have a sine squared theta plus a cosine squared theta, right? Well, I think there's an identity that we're staring at. What is sine squared plus cosine squared? One. It's one. That's just plain old one, right? So I'm going to change this sine squared plus cosine squared into one. I'll have a sine of theta times one, but the one's rather redundant. So how about just sine of theta? Much simpler than our original problem, right? That was a pretty easy one. You guys agree? Okay. I'll do one more, and then now example three is one of those that having a trick is really helpful. So before I do example three, Find cotangent squared, okay? Do you see cotangent squared in there somewhere? What does cotangent squared equal? Okay, so cotangent squared could be cosecant squared minus one, right? So I'm going to change this one into a cosecant squared of x minus one. And then, help me out, help me out, help me out. What am I going to do with a cosecant? One over sine, right? Oh, I like that. Don't you, Lauren? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. Now, on a little side note, if you had x squared minus 1, in algebra, we could factor that into an x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, that's my little side note, okay? Into a cosecant of x plus 1 and a cosecant of x minus 1, and that's going to help me right there, isn't it? Okay, do you see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. I know. Wake up. I'm sorry, man. I know it's the most exciting stuff in the world, isn't it? Okay, I know. So, I know. So, I'm going to factor this into a cosecant of x plus 1, cosecant of x minus 1, plus 1. Okay? All over. 1 plus cosecant of x. Okay, now, I bet you can probably finish it up, couldn't you? What should I do next? Boom, cosecant plus 1 with 1 plus cosecant are the same thing, all right? And then what am I left with? Yeah, because you're ahead of me. I like that. Cosecant of x minus 1 plus 1, and Lauren already saw it. The 1's cancel, right? And then you're just left with cosecant. Okay, now, the only way to get good at these, the only, only, only way to get good at these is to practice. So I changed it to 7 to 14, because I'm going to make this a three-day lesson, because we need to practice. So you've got to get your identities out. You've got to try. I will help if you get stuck. I could do problems all day, but if you do them, it'll benefit you. 